This is the story of Rafa. That's me. Traveling for the first time from Cairns, driving past Adelaide and finishing Perth. Getting to see amazing destinations on my way across this country and showcasing my first impressions of them. <laughs> 20 max tracks to get the job done, but... <laughs> This is the story of a Venezuelan guy making his dream come true in this amazing country called Australia. So get comfy and excited as I take you along to experience this adventure. We're going to paradise. How's it going? Oh, it's fantastic. New day, new purpose. And the purpose this morning is to help bow from the outback cleaner to pick up some rubbish so everybody have a job everybody have a bag and everybody's working together to get things done that's the way that it is oh jesus So, if you are out there, so please make sure to take your rubbish with you and throw it on the bin. Over 61 tons removed now, so doing this one bag at a time. There you go, that way, like that. Him and his partner. Tell you about Bo. He started this, doing this in 2019 uh, by himself because he needed to do something different to conserve four-wheel drive places for everybody so he's doing absolutely everything good call in to the game I'm pretty happy with that. Where are we going? We're getting ready to cross the border to whoop, whoop. WA. Almost at the border, almost in WA. We've had um, oh, a nice relaxed morning, picked up some rubbish with the Outback cleanups, and now we're traveling in convoy to the border. We've got our border passes and everything sorted. Uh, we've cooked all our fresh fruit and veggies or eaten it. You can't take that stuff across the border from WA, uh, from South Australia into WA. Same with honey and seeds, but we're all good on that front as well. So, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much done. We're done. And yeah, check out this good beautiful view. Now, that's just about it. We were about 40 kilometers from the border, and it is pretty easy if you follow the procedure. Officially at the border of WA. WA. We made it. Actually, I think we crossed already to WA. This is WA. Well, well I think yeah. maybe this is WA. I think that this is WA. If you're wrong here, this is South Australia. Something that I discovered is even before you get to WA, you change the, the, the time, the hour, the time. I don't know how you said that. Change for about two hours behind yeah but it's it's it, it, it's weird because it's two hours behind perth in perth yeah. but in nuclear it's just one hour so as far as what? yeah 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, have it's, a look. Yeah, have a look on the phone. It's 9.30 in the morning here. Yeah. And with, we, it's, we, we travel in time. We woke up this morning at 7 p.m. We spent about seven a.m. Yeah, we spent about three hours just packing up and cooking breakfast and blah blah blah. Seven hours. And we were left. It was 7:30. <laughs> <So, laughs> anyway, we are at the border, or we are crossing to WA to do the expo in Perth. How good is that? I'm excited. A lot of people talk about WA and places that you can visit and I can't wait to at least have a look of a few different places. What do you want to do in WA? Oh well, I want to do the expo. Exactly. But also, I wouldn't mind going and checking out Margaret River region. I loved Bustleton when I was there. Have a look at Esperance, I've never been there. I'm literally just whatever we can do, you know, whatever time we have. Be good to head north a little bit out of Perth and just see what's up that way. I've never been that way before, but I think we're quickly going to run out of time, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Make more friends. That's the main thing to do. Make more friends. Make more friends, <laughs> travel more, and enjoy more life because this is all about that. Travel, enjoy business, and live a life because we just have one. All right, so we're going to keep driving. That's it. It's getting late, of course we need to find a campsite and we found this little truck to the left in Coco Beatty, I think that's the name, and we're heading about 30 kilometers uh, south to a beach. So let's see what the place is all about. You know when the place is gonna be good because it start flooding the tires down and so far the truck has been amazing <laughs> It can't get better than this. 
first spot in WA and blow my mind. Honestly, it take all the boxes. It's just incredible. Wow. Now I know why people love WA. It's just amazing, honestly. Wow. <laughs> Just thinking, this is probably actually one of the most remote coastal camps in the entire country. No, I wouldn't put it far, right? I'm not for sure. Wow. Very good point. What? Very good point. Wow. I like that. We finally got to a clear place to set up our campsite. And looks like nobody been here for a long time. Wow, well, another day in paradise. I tell you, you can't get better than this. Look at the white sand. Uh, that cliff. We stay literally in a very, very remote place. Mm -hmm. It uh, took a couple of hours to get here. Yeah. Down some hairy four wheel drive tracks. It's been uh, hectic, honestly. It's been, it, it, it took all the boxes and this is the first <laughs> campsite in western australia mm. let's go that way uh, look at this look at our campsites over there and it's just spectacular look at that it's, it's just everywhere or every single place that i is See, mm. I point is perfect. Perfect, mm. yeah. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is, or what we're gonna do is, just try to get to those cave, or maybe go over there, <laughs> or maybe go over there. Oh, there's a cave, a, a square cave, right in there. Yeah. You see? Wow, over there. Look. Oh yeah, there is a mm. cave over there. We're not that far, it's just a bit of trekking. Anyway, let's start walking. You're right? Yeah, well, you're like taking me on some crazy adventure. <laughs> look at the emus have been walking all here. And look at this. Crazy. Amazing. Seems like a, there is a toolbox somewhere here and where is it uh, yeah yeah it's a toolbox it seems like I have been there for ages Emu bear and Eno. Oh wow! <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure he's a native gecko. Hey buddy! I uh, can't even see him. I've never seen one. Ooh. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> Look at him. That's so funny. Come on. Oh, leave the poor little guy. Uh. He runs so funny.
We left the gecko alone and we took off for another adventure, heading to the beach to help Bo and Kim to clean it up. <laughs> but towing a trailer full of rubbish in soft sand sometimes could be a mission. This is what we do to clean up the beach. We are getting Outback Cleaners up these dunes so that we can actually go and clean up the beach here. There's lots and lots of microplastics there that we're gonna go and collect. And the reason why it's taken a little bit to get up here is simply because they are packed full of rubbish. Now it's just a matter of time for the rest of the crew to get to the other side of the dune to cash up and do our cleanup. Well, that was a bit of a mission, but um, good fun. Luckily, we had the bloody Max Tracks Highway, mate. What are you ringing? <laughs> 20. Yeah, 20 Max Tracks to get the job done, but <laughs> got it done in the end. So, the 105 did well, pulled it out. So, good fun. We're going to go clean up the beach now. Thanks for watching, guys. On the next episode, we do our cleanup and we start heading to Perth. But first of all, we stop in amazing locations.